Hi everyone, welcome to my video at aprettierweb.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add um, sidebar buttons to your website kind of like you see here on Jamie Delane blog which is um, a local Vancouver photographer. So she has a bunch of buttons here on the side. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different where we have a hover action and um, so let's jump right into it. So um, what you do is first you're gonna create a menu. So if you go to your dashboard area, this is just my tutorial site up here. So if you go to your um, menu area, which is in an appearance menus, and then you want to create a new menu. And this menu, I'm just gonna call sidebar menu and then click create menu. Now I'm just gonna add a few pages that I have on this demo site and I'm gonna add it to my menu and then be sure to click save menu. So now I have the links that are gonna show up on my sidebar. Now to make it appear on my sidebar, I'm gonna go to my widgets area. So that is under appearance widgets. And um, this used to be over here, but um, if I scroll down all my widgets and I will come across custom menu. So I'm gonna drag and drop that into my sidebar area. And once you have it dragged, you'll see that there is a drop down for, um, for you to select the menu. So I am going to click, select that sidebar menu that I just created. And I'm gonna click save. Now let's view the site. So as you can see, I have these new sidebar links on my right hand side, but I wanna style them to look like buttons. So that is um, where I'm gonna add um, some special CSS to this. Now don't get, um, don't get frightened, you can copy and paste pretty much the code that I have in my blog post, and I'll show you where you can paste it. So if you go back to your dashboard, where you want to paste this is your um, editor area. So go to appearance in editor. And it should show up right away with your style.css file. So you'll be wanting to paste in all that code here. So um, on my website, you will have um, some sample code and just paste it into the style.css. Now sometimes uh, an update file. Sometimes this update file won't be um, accessible because of permissions maybe on your host. So if that's the case, then you can also install this simple custom CSS um, plugin that will let you copy or let you paste in some CSS and change your styles. Also, some themes um, will come with areas where you can edit CSS. And actually, that's what I'm gonna do to just show you um, in real time how you can edit CSS. So um, I'm using actually the Boss Lady plugin that I sell on my website. And if I go to Customize, um, so once this loads, you will see the website here. And um, if you're not feel familiar with the customizer, this will uh, preview all the changes that you make on your website and um, it will show you on the right hand side. But these changes aren't live until you hit save. So I'm gonna go to my custom CSS area. And I actually um, already know um, the classes that is being used. So first, I'm gonna enter widget nav menu and the list, and I'm gonna take out any margins and padding. So I don't have any on my current um, right now, um, but I'm gonna make sure I take those out. And I'm also gonna do that for every list item. Okay, and then I also want to specify um, the spacing in between those individual list items. So I'm gonna say margin bottom, and I'm gonna say 10 pixels will be the spacing between every list item. 
So on my right hand side, you'll see probably this move a little bit, um, probably not that much, uh, I guess right now, but you'll see more obvious once I add um, my colors. So um, now to get those colors for, um, and make it look like buttons, um, I am going to target the link um, CSS and I am going to add a background color and it's going to be a hex color of EF1F87. So on the right hand side you'll see this change already. So that makes it um, this pink background color. And if you um, want to pick a different color, you can go to colorpicker.com, if you're not familiar with hex colors, and play around um, with this um, tool to pick different colors. If you want a blue, um, uh, click on this tool to find your hex color, and then you just copy and paste, whoops, that's hard to read, copy and paste this value here into that um, the background color here. So then in the text color, I'm gonna say color, and the hex color for white is six, is six F. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is going to be um, the, the text color of my button. So you see that there. And now I wanna add some padding. So I'm gonna say um, two pixels, a, above and below my button. So you'll see there's a little bit of space added here. And then I wanna say six pixels to the left and right of my button. So you'll see some um, extra space added to my left and my right. Um, maybe I'll make it more obvious for you in the demo here. There we go, so six and 10 pixels. So you'll see a lot more spacing around my text. Um, I'm also going to do um, font weight bold. Just I like to do that on buttons so I can see just a little bit more of my text. And now I also want to show this at full width. So um, for um, your link attributes, you have to go display block and then set your width to 100%. So that sets your width to 100%. Percent. So now you see um, these buttons go full width to that sidebar. And I'm also going to do um, text align center to make my text um, align center. Great. And I'm also going to add a text decoration none just in case um, you have your link set to have an underline so I'm going to remove that underline now I want my um, button to have a nice hover so when I hover um, I'm not seeing a change of color and I like to have um, kind of an indication that you're hovering over those um, buttons so I'm going to copy this selector again my link selector, and then I'm gonna do a uh, colon hover, which targets the hover styles of this button. So now I'm gonna say the background color is hex um, six zeros for black. One, two, three, four, five, six. So again, if you wanna choose a different color, go to that colorpicker.com and choose your hex color. So now I've changed it to black and let's see what that does. So when I hover over, I now have the color of black. Again, I'm gonna add text decoration none in case you have um, uh, I'll underline when you hover over your links. I don't on this site, but you might on your sites. And um, I think that's it for these buttons. So that is how I um, create some easy buttons on your sidebar in WordPress. So you just um, copy all this code that I have. It'll be in my blog post and um, paste it either in appearance editor or the um, simple custom CSS plugin. So I hope that was easy to follow and I will have, of course, more WordPress videos. So please follow me on YouTube or make sure you subscribe to my newsletter on aprettierweb.com.